What's up guys, Andrew Phoenix here. Uh, excited to show you a new tool for Animator Toolkit called Pathrig. The first thing you'll notice about it is that it's low. You could shrink it by exposing it to cold or hitting this button on the top left. Now what Pathrig does for each object is generate paths which are guided by target nodes. And these paths can act as trajectories, path deforms, or both. And to better make sense of that, here I have a herd of cows, which are multicolored, probably because we're grazing on uh, hallucinogenic mushrooms. And what better way to begin their trip than by selecting them and hitting the Create New Pathric button. Immediately, they start tripping balls along these paths that were created with these helper nodes. The first being a root node, which the beginning of the paths are attached to. And the second being a target node, which the paths are subsequently attached to. Uh, I can manipulate these by scaling them, rotating them, moving them, and keying them, and the paths will respond. Uh, I can create new targets by hitting this Add Target button. I can uh, duplicate them, okay, remove them. I can show their order in the viewport by hitting this button. I can change their order on the list. I can divide between them can detach them and reattach them. Now each target has its own individual controls, but I can edit multiple targets uh, by dragging these spinners. Also I can randomize their position by uh, dragging the jitter spinner, as well as further randomize them by changing the seed. Each target can have a, uh, its own interpolation type. Uh, it can change it to corner or smooth. Also, the targets can be attached to other objects. Touching this case, now they're really tripping balls on this UFO. Okay, attach that. And now wherever the UFO moves, uh, the path rig does. Now these objects I can select and expose what they're attached to by uh, hiding them. And you can see that they're actually linked to these helper objects which are attached to the paths. And uh, we, we call those trucks. And if I uh, hit that radio button, you can see the keys there directly on the timeline. I can also select the paths uh, or the objects and change their type. Right now they're set to move. Now I can change them to follow and they'll follow the paths along different uh, axes. Flip them. Uh, I can control their progress along the path by uh, shift and dragging to randomize them, or I could just simply drag. I could set them exactly by hitting this absolute relative toggle. I can uh, set them to deform along the paths. Further randomize that by holding shift. Control the rotation. Twist. And change them back. Also, I could integrate new objects into the path rig at any time by selecting them and hitting this add button. Uh, I could take the whole path rig and duplicate it as well. Also, you can have the paths respond in real time to uh, targets that are animated or that you're moving, or you can have them baked. Depending on how many objects you have, it might be better to bake them so you get faster response. Well, that's PathRig. I uh, hope you use it. Let us know what you think, and thanks for watching.